from Brussels back to Britain and on to Colchester and Clacton. It's busy with the Prime Minister. This is a car park. That is a factory. And that is a Conservative bus where we will be talking still about the situation in the Mediterranean, I suspect, whilst the Prime Minister looks at a company that makes massive fans. And you can see there that they've got the high beers ready. It's always got to be high beers before you go into a factory. We are in Colchester, which is a Lib Dem seat. Bob Russell has over 6,000 majority, but the Tories clearly in this election are assuming that no Lib Dem is safe. So here's the Prime Minister arriving in Colchester, having flown back from Brussels and been somewhere else in between, Lincoln in between, is that right Tim? Lincoln, yeah. Lincoln. See, he's a busy man, he's a busy man. And so this is where the Prime Minister is, inside a very large factory. You'd be amazed by the logistics that goes on when it comes to getting the Conservative team and the Prime Minister around. Here is the Tory bus reversing. It has just done an eight point turn in this car park, which I have to say was quite a feat. We're now in Clacton, um, which is the lion's den. It might not look like it, but this is of course where Douglas Carswell has won a seat for UKIP. Not much chance of the Tories getting it back, but clearly the Prime Minister wanted to come here to talk about the East of England. So now the Prime Minister is heading back home and tomorrow there'll be another group of marginal constituencies. He said the last time he was here in this Clacton constituency, well actually in Frinton on sea to be specific, it was with a girlfriend. He played tennis, he had a swim and then he said she dumped him.